Sarah Simon, you're a Seattle-based artist, author, and teacher. So tell us about your art. I am a watercolor artist primarily, so playing with watercolors, teaching watercolors. Um, I also love to draw as well. Okay, you're known as the Mint Gardener. How did you get that moniker? And does it have anything to do with what is behind you right now? Yes, we're sitting in my greenhouse right now. And it was semi a joke because if anyone gardens, they know that mint doesn't need much tending. I felt like that was analogous to my art. I wanted it to be something that I could pursue and enjoy no matter what the season. And I didn't want any limitations. So speaking of plants uh, and flowers, why are you so inspired by them? I've always been fascinated by light and color. And I feel like when you capture a flower on a page, you're capturing the light and the color in its best form. Some people are intimidated to paint because they feel like they need to be able to draw or sketch first. But you have thought of a great way around that. I know that drawing can feel like an insurmountable task. So in my classes and then online, I provide the lines that you can then trace onto watercolor paper. And then you have that freedom to paint without having to come up with this perfect drawing. You grow in confidence and in muscle memory as you train your hand and your eye with this new technique. So it's a little bit of the fake it till you make it, but you will oh, make it. it. Tell us about your book, Modern Watercolor Botanicals. I combine ink pen with watercolor and when you combine that line technique with kind of a flowing watercolor the two together they're a beautiful combination because the ink line allows you to capture the form and then because you have that botanical form already defined you can then paint more freely you actually have different levels of projects right for people depending on their confidence level i designed the project so everybody could approach it at the level that they felt most comfortable in moving on to plants who the heck is the plant lady and what is she up to? The plant lady is my coloring book. I started sketching with watercolors and it felt like she, this plant was kind of floating in the middle of nowhere. And so I started drawing um, kind of human lines around her. And so we named her Florence. She was a bit of my muse and she almost became my alter ego. Florence is always covering her face. She's every girl, so she can be anyone. I'm gonna have to put you on the spot. Yeah. What is your favorite paint color? Probably Payne's gray. It's uh, it's this deep blue, it's this lovely shade. It often matches the Seattle sky, so that might be part of it. Um, but it's also, it's, it's a really calming color. What would you say to someone that's intimidated to pick up the paintbrush or the pen or the pencil? Don't compare yourselves. Uh, as Vincent Van Gogh says, if you, have, if you hear a voice inside of you that says you cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. Oh, I love it. Sarah Simon, thanks so much for sharing your beautiful world with us. Thank you for having me, it was a pleasure.